Even as a kid, I've always had an unusually low tolerance for injustice. And I haven't grown out of it. I channel my anger through my art. And there certainly hasn't been any shortage of injustice to be angry about. Oh, there's institutional racism. Income inequality. The dishonest conservative media spreading lies and hate. The corporate control of our government fueled by unfettered greed such as the privatization and profitization of everything from prisons to education. Then there's the gun lobby, the food lobby, and the fossil fuel lobby, all of whom put their profits above the greater good. So I paint, and now and then I cause some good trouble, because I want you to be angry too. Angry enough to get involved and come join us in the fight to save democracy. I have to tell you, when trying to change the status quo, one's bound to be met with some resistance. A New York artist by the name of Michael D'Antuano has created a painting called The Truth. And when the announcement hit the press, the flack that this guy got for this painting was so intense and so large that, as I said, this was supposed to happen outside, but there was so much bad, uh, there was email flack, there was some protests planned. I mean, this guy got a lot of shit. Now, along the way, I've been fortunate to get to know some really good people who are out there fighting for what is right. We finally managed to remove that mentally challenged Tony Soprano from the White House. But there are still many in power who have proven they'd gladly sell out our country for a few rubles. Now we must unite, because only united do we stand. And so, I will continue to paint.